Dr. Gregory Houghton here, three-time Olympic medalist and world champion in track and field. Thank you all for coming over to this channel. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. If you think the content is worthy to be shared, please be generous and share. Today, we're going to continue with part two of the JOA and the JSOA on the fire. And you hear Juby Sigobin expressed his feeling as to what he believes would be best for track and field in Jamaica. As you listen to him, I want you to formulate your own opinion and I want you to share your opinion in the comment section. I will let part two play and then I will come and give you my commentary at the end of part two. Once again, I would like to say thanks to Nationwide 90FM for allowing me to use their content to share with you, the public. So please listen and feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. Well, today, don't even hold your head and cry. Don't ban your belly and ball because it was coming. You kept putting band-aids on it. You kept sending your favorite prima donna coaches that don't give a hell about Jamaica. They give a hell about themselves mm -hmm. and, and the athletes mm -hmm. they manage. But, but they, you you're... guys have no idea what is going on even on this Olympic team. Ask yourself, why is, uh, why is Julie Brumwell running? two times in, 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 in a mixed relay and have to come back and run her open race. Janelle Bromfield. Janelle Bromfield. Yeah, yeah. Ask. When we have quarter miles. We, we asked that ask. question though. Well, because, we know because why. Because an athlete was supposed to come on in the final and that morning her coach said she was sick. She couldn't run. Okay? She couldn't run. You figure it out. Okay? So Bromfield had to run because they felt she was entitled because there was a national record that was set and they weren't going to change it. Okay? Yeah, there, there, there's a there's a reason to everything that's going on. One coach said he, he he was resigning because his athlete didn't get to run the leg that they wanted her, her to run. Hmm? Well, Do you know all of this stuff that's going in, on? In which oh, event? In which event? That you be? Hold on. The which four by one. So so you're, hold on. So you're saying the the, the 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 coach threatened to to walk unless his athlete yes, was given the yes. preferred leg on the four by yes. one, the women's four by yes. one. Yes. Yes. This is, Casey, a you know this, this is a coach you know this, that Casey. said that? This is a coach that said that? <laughs> yes, Casey, you know this. <laughs> Poor Casey. <laughs> Casey knows. Casey is t in touch. He's in touch. Kill me. But uh, that all, everything I'm can you, speak Casey, here, all I'm saying to yeah. you, you, you know, Jamaica, yeah. the, the Jamaican people, the athletes and the voting members yes. have to decide what they want. Who now. are the voting? to decide. Who are the voting members? The athletes. Most, well, most of the athletes. Yeah, ask our deal. Oh, uh, 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 your last comment, QBC Gobin, I have to run and do some more business. But, but you're saying that the, the, the performance of our administrators warrants an on-block resignation even before they return to Jamaica is what you're saying. That's what I would say. Mm. That's what. Uh, am I wrong with people writing from all over the world saying the same thing? Internally in Jamaica too. Yeah. There, there have been several articles come out of Jamaica. And I, as I think Casey said or somebody said, we have great people. You have Winthrop Graham. My gold medal winners. These well, guys are available. Danny McFarlane. Gold, we have Gregor Hart. McFarlane. That's in o'clock. I was going to say Julie, Julie Cutbury. But, but she Julie is Cutbury no more. Can, She's a bigger position now. She wouldn't go on no, nothing. But right. I'm sure if you ask Julie to do national duty, she would do it. Here, here, you, here you on that QBC go, but that's all the time I have this afternoon. Thank you for your contribution. Thanks. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, QB. Athlete, uh, agent there, and... Uh, I think we needed that, though. Agent, provocateur, <laughs> QB Segobin. I mentioned the Guardian article because, mm -hmm. for those who know, the Guardian is the number one news website in the United Kingdom. It's one of the biggest in the world. And of the 200-plus nations competing at the Olympics, they, they chose about this one about Jamaica. Mm -hmm. They said... I, I, the headline grabbed me. Uncool runnings, colon, mm -hmm. powerhouse sprint team fizzles mm -hmm. at games. They say we've been so cool. It looks like we're preparing for the Winter Olympics. They were preparing for oh this. Oh my goodness. They, they, we beat them so bad over the Ouch. years. But I know you, once we do bad, mm. people are going to rejoice. You, I'm telling you. You know what I like about the USA team? When I look at the USA team, the diversity, there are a few people, there are a few coaches that I saw in the stand. Robin Johnson, who I went to University of Texas with, mm -hmm. she's now a coach and she's now able to travel with the USA team. There are other Olympians mm -hmm. that I actually saw uh, or know mm -hmm. that they're now a part of the USA track and field team. They may have their issues as well, yes. but I think they've, um, you know, welcomed um, many people you know, ex-athletes into their team who are now coaches to actually travel with the USA team. Uh, and so I think they're more all-round. Yeah. 
I think, as QB said, we're seeing the same faces. Jamaica is small, you know, so let's not, you know, try mm-hmm. to think that we're going to see, you know, different faces every four years. Right. But I think some of the faces you see are the faces that have been there even when I was running 20, yeah. 30 years, yeah. 25 years ago. But, but the, the, and, and, and I accept that. The thing I would say as, as, as we move on to do some more business is this. People speak about the bold era. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, and you all would perhaps know better. I'm not sure the bold era was as a result of any planning. I think it just happened. It just happened. And that's the point I'm yeah. making. Yeah. Things like these shouldn't happen for a nation like ours. Yeah. These should we, we, we should say these this is the fruits of our plans because that's what successful organizations do. No. You don't sit and wait for happenstance, yeah, Juliet Cuthbert re- Flynn. Remember, no, we ha- we do have a good system. Let's not forget this. No, no, this, no, no. The feeder. We the have youth. a good feeder yeah, system. As we captured in our that, documentary. Right. That's a fact. So we have a good feeder but, system and that is why yeah. we've had the, the success. It's not because of any great planning. I, I, it's because of the primary yes. school um, champs, the prep school champs, and moving on to high school and the great high school program that we have. And I'm saying that when you have a plan and when you support the plan and you fail, people can accept it. When you're not on a plan and you fail, people will cuss and go on bad, which is why, look at what happened yesterday. The U.S. had a relay camp. <coughs> what happened in the men's 4 by one they got disqualified because they didn't do it properly we had no camp we never even met the final so i'm just saying that the, the best laid plans can be laid waste but at the end of the day people want to know that you have prepared to engineer the outcomes you would like to see that's how life works let me tell you last thing let me tell you what one of the things that i see that's happening we have different camps in jamaica it's like we have the different tribes your camp over there your camp over here, we're all one Jamaica, yeah. but we're competing against each other. I, and then you have the JOA, and then you have the J3A, and everybody's doing their own can thing. Can I sum it up for you? And everybody's doing their own Bigger thing. Chance and then, and, and, uh, right. And then, so the athletes, fe- they're feeling that. They understand what's happening, and they can sense the yeah. riff of whatever is happening. And then you can't go to the Olympic Games or the World Championship and not able to come together as one when you have a training camp over here so fight against the other camp over there. So- but Mrs. Cuthbert, friend, I'm saying to you that you are perfectly right and I wanted you to give me the chance to say this. What you've described is the almighty battle of self-interest. Yes. And that is what is... Yes. Pulling yes. us down. Pulling anyway. us down. The crab in a barrel mentality has to go. Mm, here you go. Yeah, QB, was there any moment in that on that anchor leg where you felt that let's see the Tobogo's 200 meter speed would conquer Rai Benjamin's 400 meters hurdles strength? No, I, I always thought that Rai Benjamin, you know, hurdles are very strong in the last 200 meters of a race. Um, but we, we basically all got it right in, in a sense that we knew the three teams. But what I, what I want to call your attention to is that. You see how all the other teams are catching up to Jamaica. Look at Great Britain has, uh, they've had an incredible Olympics, you know? Botswana has a good Olympics. So just like cricket, we better pay attention because everybody's catching up to us, you know? And, and, and this is a wake up call. We better pay attention. Yes, Everybody indeed. had a great Olympics that, the, the, you know, uh, England, England, geez. And a lot of them have um, Jamaican um, heritage. Yes. Yes, you a know? lot of the British athletes have Jamaican roots. Yes, go yeah, ahead, Michael. And I mean, Gabby has Jamaican roots. Yeah, roots. Um, you know, I mean, uh, QB. Yes, sir. Yeah, Mikey Carr here again. Um, yes, sir. Is there any new development as far as the um, the offer by Adidas that was made in, on the table? Is it shown to the back? No, 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 no. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. It has even been enhanced, and they have never replied. And let me tell you this, um, Coach Carr. Another company came with an offer that is similar to the Adidas offer and has been ducked. Nobody has heard about it. Pay attention, Jamaica. Pay attention. Adidas increased the offer within July to the first offer they made, Coach Carr. Uh-huh. They've given more infrastructure money. They've given more money to market the JHAs. They've given a 15% on, on um, royalties. And let me say one thing to you guys, okay? What is the hottest shirt in, in, in Paris right now? Adidas. Mm. It's the Adidas soccer shirt, football shirt. And you know what? The Jamaican Football Federation gets 20% of every sales of that. So the Jamaican Football Federation will get 20% of sales on that shirt, and the J Trees will get nothing. 
So think so, about that. Think so the about JFF that. is reaping from the Olympic Games because because people want the Jamaican colors. They want to wear the Jamaican colors, and this is what was lost during the Bolt era. That's how they, uh, the Jamaica got raped during that time period. This is what you call incompetent administrators that don't know what they're doing. People get there. There's people in Jamaica. Think about this, Coach Carr and the panel. Who did the contract for the football federation? It was a Jamaican living overseas, a QC, that knows what he's doing. And that's why Jama the Jamaican football team can brag about how much money they're making now and they have. That's what Rickett said that got him to be re-elected, the money he brought to the table. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all for listening. I will come back with part three and I will give you my commentaries because there's so much to dissect from this interview. However, please feel free to share your opinion about this interview in the comment section. I thank you all for listening. I am Dr. Gregory Horton. Have a blessed day. Thank you.